Hello everyone, Kate from Crocoblock is here and welcome to this new video. Guys, I've got some really good news for you. No, the quarantine is not over yet, well, at least for us. But there is one thing that you've asked for so many times that our developers couldn't just pass by. We've implemented a new multi-filtering system in our JetSmart Filters 1.8.0 version. Let's check it out together. So guys, from now on, JetSmart filters work with multiple providers, such as Elementor Pro, WooCommerce, and of course, Jet Engine. It can filter your posts, products, and even pop-up markers on the map at the same time. Yeah, that's a good one. So guys, this functionality has been implemented as additional providers enabled option and it can simply be toggled on in the content tab of any croco filter widget in elementor page builder let's see how it works today i'll be working with three providers jet engine maps for filtering the pop-up items in the map listing elementor pro portfolio for filtering the posts from the properties cpt by taxonomy property type and jet engine for filtering the posts from the same property cpt in the listing grid so first of all i'd like to briefly go over the setup that i'll be using in this video and guys if you want to learn more on how to create build and customize any of the following steps feel free to check out the video tutorial on how to set up the maps listings module because it's got all the detailed info on each of the steps and also the timestamps in the description for your convenience. So, the first thing I did, I actually created the custom post type, which is called properties, as you can see, because I'm working with the property rental website. Then I added a taxonomy for it, so all of the posts in the post type could be categorized and filtered by the type, like houses, villas, resorts, and so on. After that, I've built two listing items, map listing item and main listing item. So let me show you how it looks like. So as you can see, the main listing item consists of the dynamic widgets that pull the info like post thumbnail, post title, address, price, and so on from the post to the front end. And the map listing item is not as detailed as the previous one, but it also does the same thing. Here are the dynamic field widgets with property price, address, thumbnail, quantity of rooms, baths, and guests. So this one, as you might have guessed, will be displayed in the actual map. And last but not the least, I've created a couple of filters to play around with. And again, guys, if you want to find out more detailed info on how to go through these steps, I highly recommend you to watch the previous video tutorial. I'll drop the link in the description down below, okay? So, now we're ready to go. Let's follow to Elementor, JetSmart filter settings to make sure that all of the widgets required for our purposes are enabled for filtering. Let's save the changes and proceed to the page with the content for filtering. So I'll be using the catalog map page, but guys, you can also use the templates of yours. Okay, so as you can see, it's got the map listing widget on the page already and a couple of other filter widgets. A select filter widget for taxonomy to filter the property posts by type, then the date range filter widget to filter the dates available for rent, another select filter widget to filter the quantity of guests that can rent the property, and the apply button widget and some other heading widgets as well. So guys, let's add an intersection widget to the page and place our map into the right column. 
Okay. Well, I guess I need to change the height of the map as well to make it look a bit nicer. Let's set it to hmm, 400 pixels. Okay, good. So now let's add the Elementor Pro Portfolio widget to the page as well. Okay, I wanted to show two columns and four posts per page. Now the image size will be the same. Okay, I don't want it to be masonry and I do want it to show the titles of the posts. And now really important in the query settings, let's choose the source, our CPT properties and enter the query ID for JetSmart filters. And also I want to enable the filter bar and add a property type taxonomy. Okay, cool. So now let's drop a spacer underneath the map and portfolio and then add the heading widget as well to the page and change the title to, I don't know, let's say all filtered properties. Okay, good. So let's search for the listing grid widget and drop it to the page. Choose the listing main listing item. It's just the columns number to let it be two. And then maybe we can also change the quantity of posts to show. Okay guys, and let's change the left column width to 25%. So guys, now we can adjust our filter settings. That's why we are here for today, right? So let's start from the first one. Click on the select filter widget and toggle the additional providers enabled option on. Now in the additional providers list, choose Elementor Pro Portfolio and Jet Engine. And guys, please pay attention that it will be working properly only with the correct provider selected. So one more time, my main filter is Jet Engine Maps for the map listing widget. Then the second one is Elementor Pro Portfolio for the portfolio widget. And the third one is Jet Engine for the listing grid widget. Okay, now let's click on the date range filter and repeat the same procedure. Enable additional providers option, select Elementor Pro Portfolio and Jet Engine. Same thing goes for another select and apply button widgets. Toggle on, portfolio, jet engine. Great. Now we can update the page and proceed to the front end. So guys, let's select resorts, check in and check out dates. And let's say for guests and click search. Okay, cool. So in portfolio, we can see four posts because we set four posts per page in Elementor Page Builder, remember? Now in our map, we can see five markers, two on the east side and three on the west side. And at the bottom, we can see five available properties in the listing grid. And these are clickable, by the way. Okay, let's try another search. Let's go for cottages. Let's pick the dates, let it be the 6th of June and the 14th of June and two guests. Nice, works pretty good. And also let's check the bungalows. So let it be the 1st of June and the 3rd of June for eight guests. No, that's way too much. Let's make it five guests, okay? Sweet. Well, guys, I'd love to spend my vacay in one of these pretty little bungalows in Bali, chilling with a glass of fresh orange juice. Well, anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this update. Do you already have tons of ideas of where to use it and how to embed it into your projects? Also, if you still have any questions left, guys, don't hesitate to ask because we'll be glad to answer. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay tuned for interesting videos and informative updates and join our friendly Facebook community. Cheers, guys!